It came as no surprise. The monarch has recently struggled with mobility issues, forcing her to miss out on several key events in the royal calendar, including the state opening of parliament earlier this year. But, against all the odds, on Sunday, the last day of the Jubilee celebrations, defiantly, she once again took to the palace balcony to round off an historic event that will be remembered for years to come. Now, many, like Howard Hodgson, a royal commentator and author of Charles, the man who will be king, believe that the queen should see out the rest of her reign in relative calm and quiet, the sort of environment in which she lived for most of the coronavirus pandemic lockdown at Windsor Castle with her late husband, Prince Philip. Speaking to Express.co.uk, Mr. Hodgson noted the Queen's mental and physical frailty, and that when you get to 96 nothing works quite as well as it once did. He said he believed Her Majesty deserved dignity, and said, I think, the royal family, will make sure we don't see too much of her. Asked whether he believed the firm would now be keen to protect the Queen, he added, I think so, yes, and I think she has every right to see out these last few years of her life with as much dignity as possible. I think that is what will happen. The Queen's health has probably suffered some acceleration of deterioration because of two things that have happened. The first being, the death of, her husband. She always loved, Prince Philip, and the situation was that when you actually lose somebody that you've been with for over 70 years it is a very big drain on you and it must be quite lonely without him. Very often, when one partner dies, the other one errantly either dies in a short space of time too or could be in a situation of actually becoming much more reclusive and depressed. The other thing that's happened is the coronavirus pandemic. If you do something every day you won't lose it, and I think COVID-19 broke huge amounts of routine with the Queen because everyone was locked up.